guys, welcome to Abby Tutors. So today I'm going to show you how to solve a cylinder cube or battle cube. So for solving cylinder cube, you need to know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. If that cylinder cube is 3x3, three three, then you need to know how to solve 3x3. Three three. If you don't know how to solve it, you can watch my previous video. So first, I'm going to shuffle it. Okay, so now I have shuffled my barrel cube. So first, all you need to do is to see that, is to do one black or yellow color. So I'm gonna do black color. First match one edge piece and match it with its center. Okay, now take another edge piece, see here, black and orange just tilt it so now we have matched two edge pieces take another edge piece see here it should be just tilted so now i'm gonna take this down take this side okay so take this one time take this here sorry take this down take this back and take this up so now it's not still placed correctly so now i'm gonna match it so it's not in the correct place so you need to take this here two times three times and take this up and now bring this down bring this back and up so now we need to see if all are matching so you need to tilt it so all so three edge pieces are matching now take another edge piece here so now as you can see we have all matched edge pieces now let's move to corner piece so i need to tell you something in this corner pieces are only two colors see it's only two colors there is no third color so now to remember this you need to just know that if you are doing blue then on left side it would be blue okay so now I am gonna take blue corner piece so here so I am gonna place it here not here if you place it here there would be a parity okay so I am gonna place it there okay so now let's take another corner piece here orange it's here take this here take this down back up so now I have matched two corner pieces now let's take another piece here, red, so it would uh, come here because it's on the left side. So break this here, take this here, up. And now we got one corner piece. So now take this here, bring this down, back, and up. So now we here we have solved it according to my point. So match it with its center. If it's not matching that means you have placed edge pieces wrong so okay so now what you're gonna do is to take piece that are slanted like this okay so these are edge pieces of second layer okay so I have tricked one so we need to place it here to match the color so bring this here bring this down take this back and up so now bring this here take this down take it back and up so now we have placed the piece now let's take another piece here and here so i'm gonna take orange so here i'm gonna take it away bring this down bring this back and up so if these two are matching that means correct bring this here bring this down bring this back and up so here i have solved two edge pieces let's move to last two edge pieces so here is the only one remaining so i'm gonna match it bring this away bring this down back and up bring this here bring this down bring this back and up so now we got only one piece remaining you can even do like this matching this with here bring this here bring this down back up so take it here take this down take this back and up so now sometimes there 
let's move to third layer. So in third layer, sometime what happens? In three by three, this never happens. See, one only one edge piece is there, and three are not there. One is only flipped. So for this, this is all called a parity. So for solving a parity, you just need to take this up, take this here down. Okay. So now bring this here bring this down bring this back and up so now we have removed one edge now try to solve an edge from another side take this here take this down back and up if if you place the blue from here then you should try to solve blue from here okay so it's still parity i'm gonna do it one more time so I'm gonna try from here. Take this here, take this down, back up, take this down, back up. So here I have solved the parity and we got an L, L shape. Okay. So now I'm gonna keep it one one side facing to me and one side on the right side and do this. Take this here, take this up, take this back, down, back and reverse okay so now we got a standing line move it to like this to leap it and do the same take this like this take this up back down back and one more time down, down. so now we got a cross you need to match them like this if you didn't match you just need to do this take it up side down side up two times and down so now in this case you get when you get a plus you may even get like this two pieces uh, matched and two pieces flipped so now uh, so sometimes you get like this see this and this are matched so you need to flip one time you will get one piece matched so here and you need to do that Two times and up. So now we got here all color salt. So next step, what you are gonna do is to match these three. So for doing that, you need to take one color which is matching. See, and you need to do this. Take it up, take it back, take it down, take it back, down, back. So here, these three are flipped. So we need to do it one more time till we all get. So now it's not yet. You need to do this until you get. See, now we got the piece at the correct place. Just it needs to be rotated. This also, this also. Sometimes you don't get because there would be a parity. So I have made a solution for that. That is what I told you at the first if you're doing black then keep the green at the left side the corner piece is color okay if you are doing yellow then keep it on right okay so then you if you get a fish like this then keep it on the uh, left bottom and do this two times down back up, back down one more time on the left okay so we would get like this like this figure and you need to do it same when you do it you will get a shape like this plus and two pieces of so keep these two pieces on the right side and do this same Two times down back up back down so here you have solved your cylinder barrel cube thanks for watching and please subscribe and give a like if you like it and if you have questions you can ask me in the comments